I'm back with Denise and uh, today we will go through the uh, report from my gene tests which were sent over to the UK some weeks ago. You probably know so much about vitamin D already but it's yeah. you know obviously from certain foods and from produced by our skin how how the, the skin synthesizes it from sunlight and all that, that's something that I don't have to go through anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. So in your case, your gene is CT. Um, that variant basically means that when you take in um, vitamin D, mm -hmm. you need a little bit more of it to yeah. get the same amount of active form. Yeah. And that's why you need an increased amount. Okay. Okay, wow. so... So if me and you were to go stand in the sun, for example, yeah. because my vitamin D receptor is normal, yeah. okay, if I stand there for 30 minutes and you stand in the same place for 30 minutes, yeah. I would still get more vitamin D than you. Wow. <laughs> okay, sim simply because of this gene. So that's all it means. Yeah. It that's why you need more because your body is not so efficient at, at producing it or using it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in terms of recommendations they yeah. recommend an increased amount uh, if it's not activated it doesn't do a thing in the body it has to be activated with magnesium and b2 people are asking oh my or saying my doctor says my levels are fine but mm -hmm. they are could still be too low it doesn't matter how much the levels are as long as it's not effective or activated in the body it's just yeah yeah as long mm -hmm. as you're not getting um you know like hypercalcemia symptoms and you're watching your kidney function and all that I, I think as long as you have active monitoring of it. Yeah, you need to have active monitoring yeah. of it. And that's why we are having a calcium restrictive diet. So, so that works fine. If you put the calcium out, it won't be a problem. And drink yeah. water to, to cleanse the kidneys. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs>